Um, okay, so you probably saw at the beginning we said log, natural log. This is this is natural log of income. And you're probably saying, what? Well, some of you might, if you haven't taken a math class in a while, you might be wondering, what is it? I don't remember what natural log is. Um, and secondly, you're saying, well, why do we want to take natural log of income? So let's let's look at this. First of all, doing natural log is going to make it look like this. Well, it's going to it's going to it's going to slow it down basically. So if we had here is the income, and then here is the log of income, then it's going to go like that. Okay, that's what this is going to do. So what is why we would want to do this? Well, our per capita income are really far apart from 777 with Central African Republic all the way up to 110 for 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 Qatar and that's really big okay so but if we increase a dollar for Central Africa Republic or say a hundred dollars and we increase a hundred dollars for Qatar do they have the same effect and obviously the answer is no they don't okay a uh, hundred dollars more income per capita for a low very low income country would make a difference for a high income country it probably will be zero impact Okay, it's going to probably have zero impact. And so taking a log accounts for this diminishing returns of additional income, right? Taking the log because it makes our it, it makes this relationship this way, right? So it accounts for that. When we when we take a log, then it's going to compress the income range and it's going to make the bottom count more, right? So it's going to make those first those first dollars a country gets when they start to grow from from very low uh, count for more. So now the 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 central Africa Republic's natural log of the income is 6.66. And the natural log of the income for Qatar is 11.61. Okay, so it gets um, much closer together, and it makes the first part of the range count for more. It makes each dollar in the first part of the range count for more. Let me show what this looks like graphically. Okay, so if we just put our per capita income normally, and we compare it to our other parts of our human development, so this is our life expectancy and our education, it's going to have this relationship. So it's going to go like this. So at first, when when income goes up, those things go up a lot, and then income goes up and they barely go up, and then eventually, uh, not much is happening at all. Okay, so if we do it like this, it's going to be so it's going to be nonlinear, right? It's going to be nonlinear. So if we compare human development, other parts of human development to per capita income, then it is nonlinear. So by taking the log, we turn it into a linear relationship because the log is going to um, it's going to sort of uh, make those first dollars count more. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna count more in this function. Now, if we put a log over here, okay, we we'll put our log over here. Now it's linear. Now, now one more log. So if we go, if we had uh, one log and we get one more log, you know, on the log scale we get one more. Now it's gonna actually make a difference, and it's gonna be constant. This, this sort of effect. Okay, so, so um, this is just a way to adjust it. Uh, it's very common to do this in economics. It's very common to take whenever something is nonlinear. Uh, it's pretty common to to change it into logs in order to kind of make it linear. And so um, it's not super super important that that makes sense, but it the part that is important that it makes sense is just this idea that uh, income that one dollar added to a low income country's per capita income has a much bigger effect on human development than one dollar added to a high income country's development. That's the important concept here. All right. Um, so let's let's keep moving with this idea and we'll look at a little bit more.